Hey everyone, it's Dick from Traders Reborn. Before we start here, if you find value in this video and like what we're doing, please subscribe and like. So today is Friday, June 30th. We did hit bangers right off the opening bell. Called it out exactly during pre-market and all targets were hit within seconds. And then we took a second trade, hit that one exactly as planned. We just followed our plan and let the trade do its thing. We went ahead and, and only traded only four micros to get these gains. Okay, we don't need to oversize as long as you position yourself correctly and let the trades play out. Follow the plan. So we once we hit this, we went ahead and just enjoyed our weekend after this. Okay, so as you can see here, our team did hit trade one, 120 ticks. Trade two, 180 ticks. 100% on the results right here. 100% win rate. These are our profit. And here are the trades. T40 is the area, guys. Just tap 240. Okay, there it is. I'm stepping or, I'm order filled. By a small position. Order filled. There you go. I'm in longs, guys. Uh, my TP is, like I said, 270. Oh, shit. Order filled. Okay. Um, there you go, guys. Hold it, hold it, okay? Hold it. My thing, one of my accounts uh, just got, it just closed out on me, but that is the play right there. 270 is the TP, guys. 270 is the TP. I hope you guys hit that. That's about 120 ticks right there, okay? Take TP here or hold for, you know, I would take TP at 270. That was 120 ticks right there, just like that. All right, that was the plan. Follow the plan. Did you guys hit that? 240, 270. Just like that. Just follow the plan. But you guys see this wick? Look at this wick. Look at the wicks, guys. Exactly in that range. Oh, shit. No, hold on here. I don't know why I can't hear you, Gillespie. Hold on. I think... Hold on here. Say something? Oh, I was saying that. I, 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 okay. Yeah, I got I'm TP. Yeah, you got TP, right? 270, right? Yeah, that was fucking yeah, quick. I was like, what the hell? What's up, up, man? Yeah, I know. I know this play was going to quick be quick. I told you guys, like, it's going to hit very fast. Look, 270 hits, and look, it's rejecting. You see? Two, 270 hits, it's going to hit to 240. You know? That's yeah. the area that, that you're you're playing in right now. That's the area yeah. we're going to take trade. I'm done for the day, guys. That's nice. That's it. That's all I need. But you guys see that, right? You know, this looks yeah. like arrows. You know, that's that's the plan. 270, 240. 240 hits, we take it to 270. Now, this is the scenario here that we, we basically just played, right? Yeah. Now, obviously, you want continuation. Continuation would be here. The next play would be the longs right here, right? Longs will go yeah. up here. Two, two rounds will shoot up. And then it'll come back now. Wait for it to test 270. Once it hit test 270, you shoot it up. And you TP at... 295 and then the next tp would be at 320. Uh, yeah, if you if you green dick that's it man yeah, i'm done and go your friday target. oh yeah i hit i hit my target already yeah that's nice yeah uh i i overshot actually i overshot <laughs> how many how many contracts did you win in i only went in four Oh, that's it. Yeah. That's nice. That's like what, like a thousand dollars? Oh no, you did um one micro, or a hundred. Yeah, 
Like, bro, like for micros, I got like two hundred dollars off that one play. Four my four micros. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yep, that's it. Two hundred. I am. I am. Now you just hold. Now you hold. You move your stop, guys. Move your stop up to uh, 287, guys. 287. Okay? Move your stop up to 287. New stop loss. Go ahead and move your new stop loss to 287. If it closes below 290 on the five minute, you exit. All right, guys. That's how you that's how you manage this trade. Look at this trade. It's a beautiful trade, man. Anybody that's in it should be up a whole lot of money right now. A whole lot of money. You don't even have to have a lot of uh, contracts in. Look at these arrows playing exactly as planned. There you go, guys. 307. Look at that. It's hitting. All, everything's hitting. Take a look, guys. This trade was a banger. 300, 320. That's five. That's, this is a 200 and something tick play, guys. Valeski, if you held that, <laughs> you were in it, right? Okay, now you guys move your stop loss up again, guys. It's ready holding. Yeah, the I was. Plan. I was really I, I, I got. I got follow the plan, man. That's what happened. <laughs> it's got to wait for fifty ticks. Okay. And um, take a look, man. It's going to three twenty. Look at this. The whole plan played out, guys. We had this whole plan, you know. Three and you know what? The worst. The the close under three hundred five would be your stop loss, everybody. The close under three hundred five. You can put your stop loss around three hundred two for your hard stop. And then just ride it. Keep riding it. Yeah, it's green. It's a green day, Dick. You see, like I said, man, Friday has been trending. Just keep that Friday. in mind. That's what? I, I like Fridays. Fridays are good. Yeah. Did you follow the plan, Swoop? Yeah, Swoop. Under 305 is at the close. You guys can put your 305 as your first stop. 305 as your first stop. Um, or you can wait for it to close under 305 on the five minute candle, up to you, however you want to manage it. But right now, you're just squeezing out every last bit of this Um, but you know, it's gonna hit this, it's gonna hit this retracement, it's a little bit uh more aggressive, but um, yeah, you should be out of it by now, you know, just because uh, you already squeeze out everything already, you take what the market gives you, right? If it wants to give you a clean play. It's gonna give it to you, but right now, right now, um, it's showing some resistance again. So, again, so the 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 price action might not be as clean anymore. But you did, but you did. what was it from two seventy? We entered around two seventy, yes, right? Two seventy now up to, uh, what is it? Like that's forty points, you know? That's yeah, about it's about. Yeah, about, it's about Oh, there you go, guys. 320. Boom. Look at these arrows, guys. Done deal. So, anybody that was in that trade, yeah, that trade. Know, like I said, yeah. if you held and followed yeah. the five minute close, you would have taken this whole tar target. Right? If you had a hard stop, you would have taken it. And a pretty good one because you trimmed most of it already at this white first line. Right. 
So that was the play, guys. That was the play, and you guys. know what? We got two clean plays. The first play was a 120 ticks instantly hit within like a, a second. The second you know, play, I, I, you know, we followed the plan right here, exactly this arrow right here, you know, and then we, and then it came out this arrow, and then it came out this arrow, oh, for the, and then now th this play came out, you know, every single level is hit exactly the way it is, you know, that was your TP, that second play was about 180 ticks. Yeah, the second play I got in, <laughs> I did got in. Yeah. I should have gotten in with NQ instead of micros. <laughs> I would have passed. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. Everything's hit already. That was it. That was mainly the trade for the day. Yeah, that was it. Now, if you guys missed that play, you know, those were the golden plays. Um, now the next level is... See, uh, Enjoy your day. Four, three, three, four, three, three, four, three, three, four, three is right around here. Three, four, three is ATR, guys. So, this is ATR right here. Yeah, right um, now it's overextended. I'm yeah, overextended. So, yeah, so now it, it's because it's overextended. Uh, any play after this it could be a little shaky, you know. All right, so those plays was planned from the pre-market. Uh, everybody should have been very well prepared for those trades right i don't know who's in the i know valeski was in there when i think swoop was in there with me for pre-market levels yeah yeah everything hit yeah. guys banger day oh yeah very good day trading one to two micros i'm up exactly. over 100 bucks in three different accounts exactly I think I'm probably done for the day. Did you use a, a copy trader swoop? No, no. I traded each one individually. That's I nice. still haven't. I still haven't even tried to do copy trader. Uh, did you ever talk to FFN about their Fundex problems? Uh, yeah. So, oh yeah. So, um, they did tell me here. Let me see here. Recorded some. I tried to just record the um. The trades, you know, yeah. Because a lot of times it can just be downtime, and right now I don't have an editor to like fast forward things. Uh, anyway, so this is the area we're in right now. Uh, one two three is formed on the ES and the NQ. Okay, in this scenario here, your stop loss would be if you took any trades here that would be the close of under 320 okay and now since you did tp tp just hit right now you want to do this now this is now the move you wanted to do okay so in this area here if you take any trades right the moment it closes below 340 you are out Okay, it means it cannot hold the price. The price did not get accepted above 340. Okay. You only look for longs today. Today is not the day where you want to go against the trend. Okay, Fridays has been super trending. You don't want to go against it. There you go. Up. And then now you want it to retest that 340-ish area. 343, 345. If you guys haven't gotten in, you wait for the retest. You don't you don't chase it, okay? But like I said, this is the over this this move upside is overextended. ATR is at 343, 345. So it is overextended. But yeah. You wanted to test around 345. If it can hold 345, then you're taking it up to around 370 for the next TP. And then next TP here. Cool. 
So, uh... And as you can see, it is holding that price, right? So now you got two minutes left on this candle. You just look at volume. If volume continues to keep being around this area, you're going to keep moving up. If volume maintains. So there's the trade happening right there, holding it held that two for a three forty five area. It retested it, held it. Next target is three seventy. You know, if you're a less aggressive trader, you would be taking it every ten points. Every ten points, you would trim. Every ten points, you would trim. Like right now, two sixty, you trim here. Right. If you're a less aggressive trader, 360 you would trim, 370 you would trim, 380 you would trim every 10 points. If you're a more aggressive trader and you're you know you you follow the plan, 370 is where you would take your first TP. There we go. It's about to hit. 370 right here there it is there it is you guys can start trimming around this area there's really nothing here on the on the book map at 370 there's nothing 375 is where it's at there we go there's the pop going to 370 370 sellers just came in a little bit little small amount you're just going to take some tp there you would trim. This is where you would trim. Next target, three three ninety five, guys. Three ninety five is the next target. If it breaks through three seventy, you're good. There you go. It just took the liquidity. It just it just swept up those those uh sellers. Now you would move your stop to three seventy. Okay. If it closes under three seventy, you would exit, or you can put your hard hard stop at around sixty seven. Hard stop at sixty seven. If you guys are more of a conservative trader, and you guys uh you know want to hold this trade, squeeze it out. 67 would be your 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 hard stop if you want to if you believe in well you know what we're at supply so that would be a, a good stop at 67 if, if the market doesn't want to give it to you then just you know you already got out most of what you wanted from it right so 367 would be your hard stop uh, whoever that wants to hold for more you would put your your uh, stop at the flip of the candle, so around like 58, 50, 59, 58. That's more aggressive traders. And if you're a five minute candle closer, then you would obviously have it close under 370, then you would exit. You know, if the market doesn't hold 370 on a five minute candle close, you would exit regardless of how the you know the market price goes up and down up and down doesn't matter just wait for the five like you know four four minute to five minute candle close oh shit hold on swoop hold on swoop this whole time you're talking my uh Every time I take off my headphones, it doesn't work for some Stick that. Okay, I can hear you now. I can hear you now. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, what's up? What were you saying? So that was the 270 right there. It did reject. This is now this scenario playing out right here. Right. So whoever that had that hard stop at 267, you would have been safe. You would have been only three. You only gave up like $3. You know, so that's why you know you you guys have to figure out what kind of trader you guys are, right? Everybody's different. Everybody has different trading, uh, you know, mentality and what you guys can handle for risks and what you guys are willing to give back. I'm an aggressive trader, so I will hold, you know, and I'm willing to let my trades like work out, right? 
and I'm okay with my trades like from going from green and then I'll, I'll take trim 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 and then my last runner I'm okay with that one you know giving back some money right because in the end I'll still walk away with out with profit or even break even sometimes you know but not every trader is like that some traders they uh they're not able to you know their mindset once they get back on that trade they go and chill So as you can see, 45 seconds, this candle could potentially even close above to 360, you know, but three set anything under 370 was a, uh, was a close already. So this whole area, you know, once it rejected, it was a safe play to close out even with a hard stop. It would have been good. Yeah, today was one of the cleanest days, man. Price action was, you know, simple to read. Volume was easy to read. Everything was pretty much on point, you know. Even the retest levels were easy to read. Look at these levels, you know, they just all hit, right? Look, look at all these demand and supply zones. Everything just, all the levels hit perfectly.